Hey guys, how you going? My name's Ruby and let's have a look at what's in the news today. First up, Katy Perry's fashion label has been accused of racism. Two of the label's new shoe designs have just been pulled from shop shelves, and it's got a lot of people talking about what is and isn't okay in the fashion world. These are the shoes everyone's talking about, featuring red lips, a triangle nose, and blue eyes. They're part of Katy Perry's shoe collection, and Twitter and Instagram erupted over the weekend with many people saying they're offensive because they resemble racist images known as blackface. Blackface dates back around 200 years in America, where white comedians would put dark paint on their faces in performances mocking black Americans. It wasn't just stage shows, but movies, ads and cartoons, which depicted black Americans as racist stereotypes with exaggerated features. So many people were really upset to see what they considered to be a modern day example. It's not exactly a first for fashion brands, just a week ago, there was backlash over this jumper by Gucci. And recently, these accessories by Prada. The shoes have now been removed from sale, but some people have defended them and don't think there's anything wrong with them. Katy Perry has since apologised, saying she never meant to hurt anyone. The federal government has just copped a historic defeat in Parliament on one of its own bills. If you want to know how big of a deal that is, well, the last time it happened was nearly 80 years ago. It's all got to do with whether doctors should be given more power to decide whether asylum seekers who live in detention centres on Manus Island and Nauru should be brought here to Australia to get medical help. Labor, the Greens and some independent MPs said yes, they should, but the government said no, because it thinks that will lead to more people coming here by boat. Anyway, the government lost the vote, and a defeat like this can be pretty scary for governments, because it could signal they're no longer in control. But the PM Scott Morrison is insisting that is not the case this time. If you've ever had a mosquito bite or ants in your lunchbox, or if you've ever had to deal with a rogue cockroach, you'd know that insects can be pretty annoying. The idea of them disappearing forever and never coming back might seem fantastic, but be careful what you wish for. No matter how annoying you might think they are, insects are a really important part of our ecosystem. Whether it's the bees that pollinate our food crops or the ladybirds that control plant-eating pests. That's why a new research paper has some experts pretty worried. The study says that over the last decade, around 41% of all insect species have seen a decline in population. They reckon this worrying drop in numbers is because of things like habitat loss, pollution and pesticides, and climate change. Our food is grown in soil that's made by insects. And then our food is then pollinated by insects. And without that, then we just lose the ability to produce food, won't we? Experts say we need to work on restoring habitat and dramatically reducing the amount of pesticides we use in agriculture to keep these little guys performing their very important work in keeping our ecosystems balanced and healthy. And we're capping off today with some people who are desperate to be reunited in our segment called Missing You. This Japanese bonsai was one of seven stolen from a garden in Tokyo last month. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a cute tree, but why would anyone steal it? Well, it turns out the oldest of these trees has been around for 400 years and it's worth more than 120,000 bucks. Whew. Now the couple who own the stolen bonsais have taken to social media to ask the thief to please make sure they're keeping the little trees hydrated because they won't last long without water. Next up, Callie the monkey has been kidnapped. Well, more like monkey napped. She's a teeny little Geldies monkey that's been stolen from a zoo over in the US. This species of monkey is pretty common in America's illegal pet trade, so zookeepers reckon that's the reason she was stolen. They're hoping that this grainy CCTV footage will help them track down the thief. And finally, this is the moment nine-year-old Kelowna was reunited with Zoe the cat. That's Zoe? Who was missing for four long years. Four years. Apart from a bit of matted fur, Zoe seems to be in good health and looks happy to be home. I can't believe it's you! That's the show for today. I'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye.